Necro Armor for the longest time has been crowned as the best armor set you can buy in Hypixel Skyblock, as it provides a wide range of versatility both inside and outside of dungeons. However, as you would expect, changes such as the strength nerf from a few months ago and other minor patches have rolled out over the months, leaving previous items that were once considered useless to actually have some place in the meta. Today's video will be covering the Frozen Blaze set, and after some relatively extensive testing, I've managed to compile a lot of interesting points to cover in today's video, which surprisingly I haven't really seen anywhere else before. So with all that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty, so as you can see, today's video is going to be focusing the Frozen Blaze armor set, and I'm going to talk about whether or not this armor set has a place in the meta, how it fares up against an armor set like the Necron armor, and really just talk about what's really changed ever since the strength nerfs and other changes that have been happening in this game, and whether or not you should be buying this armor set at all, and if it fits into the progression model. Now before we do hop into any of the damage tests both in and out of dungeons, and I actually talk about how this set actually works, and whether or not it is worth your money, the first thing I will be doing here is just going over the basic stats that you do see when you read all of the information on the pieces, and I'll also talk about how that somewhat compares to something like the Necron set, and then I'm going to wear the armor and actually show you guys what these stats look like when we compare it to the Necron armor. So right off the bat, if we pull up the NEU menu here to get a fresh look at what the Frozen Blaze armor set looks like with no enchants, and it's just as if it was freshly crafted, you can see that we get plus 40 strength, 180 defense, and then plus two speed. Now on top of this, it does have a full set bonus where it says that it damages mobs in a five block range for 300 base damage, plus 3% of their max health every second, and it also applies the slowness debuff for four seconds. Now at a glance here, 300 base damage is pretty pathetic, and the 3% of their max health also pretty weak, it's not going to be very powerful here, and the slowness debuff is quite nice, so not super noticeable, and I wouldn't really say that the full set bonus is like a deal breaker, it's just a nice thing to have and a cool bonus to really just have on the side. However, it doesn't just stop at the basic stats here. If you have a look, it actually gives us more damage based off of how many blaze rods we have got added to our collection. And I believe if I'm not mistaken here, the highest you can actually get is 500,000 blaze rods in your collection. And that'll actually max out the highest damage you can possibly achieve with this armor set. But regardless, I actually do not have the highest collection here. I have a measly 52,000, which is really pathetic. And all in all, I could definitely be doing a lot better with this armor set if I had stronger collection. But I'll cover later on in the video why this actually isn't too big of an issue, and you're going to see how this really fares up against other armor sets when we actually get to the damage testing side of this video. Now already, if we swap over to the Necron's chestplate, this looks really underwhelming. The chestplate alone here gives us the same plus 40 strength, but it also gives us plus 30% crit damage, 260 health, 140 defense, and 10 intelligence. And last but not least, for comparison's sake here, the full set bonus of the Necron armor is really nothing special, and either way, you you aren't really going to be using the full Necron set. The one that I'll be testing in today's video will just be the three quarters with a tarantula helmet. And I'll talk later on in the video as to why I've chosen the tarantula helmet and not some other options over here. So now that you're all kept up to date with what we're working with here and what the Frozen Blaze set has to offer, now I'm going to pull up the stats of my Necron armor set here. And as you can see, we are going to overlay them side by side to what the Frozen Blaze armor set also has. All right, so now that I've overlaid the Frozen Blaze armor set and the Necron armor set side by side here, we can just compare these stats one by one and really cover what's actually good about both of these sets. So right off the bat here, we can definitely notice a big difference in the health values. Now the health and the defense is a lot stronger in the Necron armor set and a lot weaker in the Frozen Blaze set. However, the Frozen Blaze set by default here has more strength than the Necron armor set actually does. The Necron armor set almost has an extra 100% more crit damage though, in comparison to that of the Frozen Blaze, but the Frozen Blaze armor set has a lot more intelligence, though this is probably because of the wisdom enchant that is on the armor set I'm using. Now the rest of the stats here aren't actually that important, but either way, they are all exactly the same amongst both sets. And realistically, we're only going to be focusing on the first top ones here. And then the last thing to be comparing here is going to be the EHP values. And as you can see, we still get a lot more EHP in Necron than we do of Frozen Blaze. So just at a glance here, you're probably thinking, well, this armor set is trash. Why would you ever want to be using Frozen Blaze if it's just going to be a lot worse than Necron? And how on earth does this even fit in the meta in any way, shape, or form? And to answer that question, it all lies within this one pet right here, the Blaze pet. If you didn't already know, the second perk here called Bling Armor will upgrade the stats of your Blaze armor set, whether it's Normal Blaze or Frozen Blaze, and the abilities by 40% at level 100. And then it also has doubled effects of all hopper 
potato stats. So not only does it actually buff all the hot potato and fusion hot potato books on this armor, but it will do the same thing to the weapon you're using or the bow you're using or anything that you are using. And it actually doubles the hot potato stats as well. And now because a lot of this video is going to be focused around the frozen blaze set with the blaze pet, and I will talk a little bit later on about the pet locking incidents and just some other negatives that do come along with this armor set. We're going to compare what the frozen blaze and the blaze pet looks like in comparison to the necron armor set with the blaze pet and then the necron armor set with a baby yeti and some other common pets that you would probably be using. Like Now, like I mentioned just before, I'm going to be using the frozen blaze and blaze pet for all of these little stack comparisons and I'm just going to swap out a couple of different pets. I'm going to try out the blaze pet on the necron armor, the wither skeleton pet, the griffin pet and also the baby yeti pet. I'm going to talk about all the differences right here. So for the first comparison that I'm going to have right here for you guys will be the necron armor set with a blaze pet and then the frozen blaze armor set with the blaze pet as well. So first things first, the necron armor set does give you more health than the frozen blaze set with a blaze pet, but it has a lot less defense than that of the frozen blaze armor set. On top of that, the frozen blaze armor set also has a significantly higher amount of strength and the crit damage is a lot less of a difference. Necron only beats it by around 35-ish percent and the frozen blaze is definitely looking a lot better in this situation. The intelligence and all the other stats still remain the same, but like I said, I have got wisdom on my frozen blaze armor, so it's not really that fair of a test. And the other stats here aren't as important either way. And then for the EHP here, you can see that the frozen blaze armor set completely blows Necron out of the water. Even with a pet equipped here, we only get 34,000 EHP with Necron, while the frozen blaze set gets 40,500, which was a pretty drastic increase. And I know what a lot of you guys are already thinking. Well, if you don't get enough EHP, then just swap to a baby Yeti. And yes, I will swap to a baby Yeti and show you guys how these stats compare here. So now to pull up the stats of the Necron armor set with the baby Yeti equipped here, you can see that the health and the defense is definitely higher than that of the Frozen Blaze. We get around 148 more health in the Necron armor set, while we also get roughly 150 extra defense in Necron as well. But the strength of the Frozen Blaze is still completely higher than the Necron armor set, and the difference in crit damage is not that much higher for that of the Necron set. And then if we pull up the EHP values here, we do get more EHP using the baby Yeti pet, which is expected. The pet is designed to give you more EHP. And if I do hold out my Scylla, because my Scylla does give me just some extra bit of strength, and the reason why the baby Yeti actually works here is because it has that perk, which does convert a bunch of your strength as defense. So holding out my weapon here, I get 54,000 EHP, which is a pretty significant jump compared to the Frozen Blaze set. And all in all, you're going to be better off using a Baby Yeti pet with a Necron armor set for the EHP side of things, although the damage difference is still pretty drastic. And now I could go ahead and swap out to the Wither Skeleton pet, the Griffin pet, and some other pets that would show you guys some different stats. Although they all pretty much remain the same, with any other damaging pet that you do use with the Necron armor set, the Frozen Blaze will always have slightly more defense and then a little bit lower health. While the crit damage difference is pretty negligible and the strength change is a huge jump. So now that we have all the basic stats out of the way here, I'm just going to hop into a couple of quick damage tests to show you guys the difference between Frozen Blaze with a Blaze pet and then compare it to Necron Armor with a couple of different pets. And I'm going to record the same thing but in dungeons and I'll also do that off camera just to save some time in this video. So I can hop into all the discussion later on here and actually talk about whether this set is worth using. But before we do hop into any of the damage tests here, it's always important that you guys actually know what gear I'm working with and what my stats look like, so that way you have a rough idea of where I am in this game and how it'll compare to your gameplay as a player. So just to showcase the armor that I will be using in today's video, this is 5 starred Ancient Recombobulated Frozen Blaze here. It does have Wisdom 5 as the ultimate enchant of choice, Growth 6, Prot 6, and just the basic enchants. It's also got Fuming Hot Potato books, and it also has fine gemstones in each one of the slots. And all in all, is a pretty good set. And like I mentioned before, my Blaze Rock collection is only 52,000, and this could be a lot higher, and it would actually make the Frozen Blaze set even stronger than what it currently is. So just keep that in mind for the rest of these damage tests. As for the weapon I'll be using, this is a Scylla. I do have the Art of War, Fuming Hot Potato books. It's recombobulated. I've got fine gems on it, and I also have a bunch of tier 6 and tier 7 enchants, as well as the Ultimate Wise 5 Ultimate Enchant. The Reforge, of course, is the Suspicious Reforge, as that's the best for the Scylla. And then the Talismans that I will be working here, despite what it says on the side, I've actually got 15 Mythic, 10 Legendary, 22 Rare, 12 Uncommon, and 16 Common Talismans. And these are all actually optimized for attack 
attack speed. So I've got a bunch of bloody talismans, some strange ones, some, some shaded, and also some strong. I'm also combat 55, foraging 32, and then catacombs 35. I will be using the berserker class for the dungeon damage test, and my berserker class is level 26. And like I mentioned before, for all of the tests, I will be using the blaze pet with the frozen blaze armor set. And then for the necron armor set, I will tell you what pet I'm using when we get to those damage tests in a minute. So without any further delay, if I go ahead and get a hit on the critical here, we get 263,000 damage, followed by 278,000, which is actually as a result of the full set bonus. If the full set bonus actually procs and I let it hit the critical and then I get the damage off, I actually get slightly higher damage because I believe the execute enchant does proc. But without the execute enchant, we get about 263,000 damage. And then when we actually do let the execute enchant proc, it's around 273,000 damage. And now for all the Necron armor tests, just to show you guys what armor I'm working with for the Necron set as well. I also have a three quarters armor set of fully recombobulated, maxed out, fuming hot potato book, fine gemstoned armor with the ancient reforge and then G6 P6 as well. I do have Legion 5 on all of these pieces, though I don't have anyone in the area. So the Legion buff shouldn't really activate here. And I've also got Counter-Strike and then some mighty pans on the pans, but that's also just not very useful. And then for the helmet here, I'm going to be using a maxed out tarantula helmet, also fuming hot potato booked, and it looks exactly exactly the same as my other pieces. This one doesn't have any gemstone slots, so I wasn't able to put any gemstones on the helmet. And now to go ahead and get some damage with the Necron armor set, if I get a hit on the Crypt Ghoul with a Blaze Pet, we get 251,000 damage, followed by another 251,000 damage. Just for good measure, I'll get a couple more hits off. As you can see, we still hover around the 250,000 damage mark using a Blaze Pet in full Necron armor. But now I'm going to swap to a more common pet that people do use when using the Necron armor set. Now that we have the Wither Skeleton pet equipped here, if we go ahead and get some hits off, I actually get 235,000 damage per hit, which is a pretty significant decrease in comparison to that of the Blaze pet. We still get about 236,000 damage on that Crypt Skull over there. Just for good measure here, another 235,000 damage with the Wither Skeleton pet. And now because the Wither Skelter pet isn't really that good of a single target damage pet, but it's better for the actual DPS over time, I have swapped out to a level 83 Griffin pet. It's not max level, so it isn't as good of a test here. But with my level 83 Griffin pet, I am able to get 264,000 damage, which if I'm not mistaken, is very comparable to the Frozen Blaze with the Blaze pet. But the Blaze pet was level 100, which means that the Griffin pet would actually be stronger if I was able to level it to 100 as well. So now that we do have all of the damage tests, out of the way here. There's actually a lot about this armor set that I do have to cover for today's video, so I'll try and go as quick as possible but also be as concise as I can. So from the damage stats I learned, the Frozen Blaze armor and Blaze pet is actually a very solid option. It holds up really, really well compared to Necron and a Tarantula helmet, and it actually outperforms Necron in pretty much every situation except for when I used a Griffin pet. Another thing that I also noticed here in all the damage tests, that the Blaze pet is actually a really solid pet regardless of whether you're using Frozen Blaze or the Necron set. I'm pretty sure most of this actually has to do with the fusion style potato perk, which does double the effects of all the hot potato books you do have. But for a price of around 60 million coins, this pet is a pretty solid option compared to something like an Ender Dragon, which is around 500 million coins. However, if the price is going to be around 60 million coins, a pet like the Griffin pet, which at max level is around 40 million coins on the auction house, you are going to get a much better deal using Necron armor and a Griffin pet than you are going to be using the Frozen Blaze set with the Blaze pet. But even that's not entirely correct. The Necron armor set roughly costs around 65 million coins, or at least I was calculating that before I made this video. While the Frozen Blaze set clean and unenchanted, and these are all going to be the unenchanted and clean prices, by the way, but the Frozen Blaze set in the exact same way would only cost you around 40 million coins to buy. Now, if a Necron armor set like this one here, or actually just a clean one with no enchants and stars on it, with the Griffin pet costing you around 40 million coins and the added cost of roughly 65 million coins, the total cost of this armor set here is about 105 million coins in total, while the Frozen Blaze set clean, unenchanted, and all that good stuff is about 40 million coins, and the pet being 60 million coins actually places it at also around 100 million coins in total. So realistically speaking, you are pretty much paying roughly the 
same price for a Frozen Blaze set and Blaze pet that you would be paying for a Necron armor set with a Griffin pet as well. Now, of course, you could go ahead and buy a Wither Skeleton pet instead and then save yourself an extra 30 million coins. But then again, you wouldn't be getting anywhere near the amount of damage that you would be getting in the Frozen Blaze and the Blaze pet setup. And obviously, that extra 30 million coins is justified in that sense because not only do you have a lot more damage, but you also have a lot more EHP. If I just cut back to all the footage that I showed you guys just before there outside of dungeons, our EHP difference was quite drastic in the Necron set compared to the Frozen Blaze set. And this is only amplified inside dungeons. Now, unfortunately, I didn't go ahead and grab the numbers. I might show you guys in the edits what the difference looks like inside dungeons. But realistically, the Frozen Blaze set is more expensive than if you were to buy a Wither Skeleton pet and the Necron set, but you're getting more damage and more EHP, which means that the price is actually justified. Not to mention that if you are going to actually try and optimize your damage and have higher damage in the Frozen Blaze set in Necron, it is going to cost you the same price. And if it's going to cost you the same price to get similar damage to that of the Frozen Blaze set, why wouldn't you just swap to Frozen Blaze to get the same damage as Necron and a Griffin pet, where you can also get the EHP from this armor set and the damage on top of that. So ultimately, it's a very interesting topic here. Frozen Blaze does have really good damage, really good EHP, and all around for the price that you pay, basically just gives you the best of both worlds. Though unfortunately, it kind of does just stop there for the pros of the Frozen Blaze set. Frozen Blaze as a whole is sort of just like one big package. You can only really use Frozen Blaze with the Blaze pet here, which does mean that you are pet locked. However, I will cover a separate video later down the line as to why pet locking isn't actually that big of a deal. Needless to say though, because the Necron armor set does not need the full set with a certain pet to work properly, if you play this game for a while and you go ahead and save up a lot of coins later down the line, you can actually upgrade your Necron set with something like the Ender Dragon pet, and the Ender Dragon pet is definitely a much stronger option than Frozen Blaze with a Blaze pet. Although of course, the Ender Dragon pet has a massive price tag of roughly 500 million coins. The Warden's Helmet is also another upgrade that you can add to the Necron armor set, but once again, it's 280 million coins lowest bin. So if you are going to be upgrading your Necron armor set and trying to opt out for the highest damage and still maintain some pretty good health, you're gonna have to spend a large sum of money. So realistically, Frozen Blaze is still a good option as like a progression or an armor set that you can use before this stage. But for the late game and for the end game, you are going to want to swap out to one of the better options. Now, the last thing that I want to mention in regards to the Necron set compared to the Frozen Blaze set is yes, you can buy something like a Griffin pet to give you the same or more damage with full Necron that you would get in Frozen Blaze. And you can also swap out the Griffin pet for, say, a Baby Yeti pet to give you more EHP than the Frozen Blaze set would actually give you. But the only issue here is that you can't have both. If you want more EHP, you have to buy the Baby Yeti. And if you want to have more damage, you'd have to buy something like the Griffin pet. I don't know about you, but using one pet that's worth around 60 million coins for both good damage and good EHP definitely sounds like a more appealing option than spending 70 million on two pets and you can't even use both of those pets at the same time. The funny thing here as well is that people say well your pet locks to the blaze pet because if you want to be using frozen blaze you have to use the blaze pet but the real question is why would you ever need to swap off the blaze pet if if you're in necron armor you're still going to have to be using a baby eddy for EHP or you're going to be have to using a griffin pet for the damage so in that sense, you'll still be pet locked to either one of these pets if you were to use a set like the Necron armor. So all in all, how good is the Frozen Blaze armor set? Is it worth buying? Definitely. It actually really surprised me that this armor set actually holds its own really well in the current meta, as I really did not expect it to do very well at all. I've seen a lot of videos and also stream highlights and clips of people who've talked about Frozen Blaze, and they always say that it's weaker than Necron. They always say that it's not as good, but I went ahead, did my own testing. I've done a little bit of brainstorming as well. I'm just coming up with different things here. And I feel like I can safely say this armor set is worth your money. It is a substitute to the Necron armor set. Not to mention, it actually has no requirements. I forgot to mention that earlier on in the video, but you do not need any catacomb skill or floor completions to use the five-star Frozen Blaze. So in a way, it is a pretty good upgrade to either Superior or the Shadow Assassin armor set. And if you prefer it to that of the Necron armor set, and you're not going to be upgrading to a Warden Helmet or a Dragon Pet anytime soon, then I definitely advise to go for the Frozen Blaze armor set because it will definitely carry through dungeons quite well. But with that being said, that is going to wrap up everything that I did have 
for today's video. Now, if you guys did find this useful or informative in some way, then please do consider leaving a like or subscribing to this channel. I do upload Hypixel Skyblock videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. Sometimes it's guide videos, sometimes I got highlights, sometimes I got speed runs. But either way, definitely content that you aren't going to want to miss out. Another thing that I do want to mention is that if you've got any further questions, comments, suggestions, things I missed out, or stuff that you want to talk about regarding this video in particular, I do stream live over on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. But with all that being said, that is going to wrap up everything that I did have for today's video. And as always, take care and peace. Anyway, let's go up here. Dude, there's a chest, bro. I love chests, dude. You know, the chest of a female. I just took that in a completely different context. I hope you guys are happy.